Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here. And in this video, we will be talking about the cameras on the Oppo A78 5G. Now, Oppo A78 5G is the latest uh, device under the 20,000 price segment in India. And this comes with the Dimensity 700 chip. Now, you get a dual camera setup uh, on the Oppo A78. Uh, we have these two uh, camera units. Now, the one is the primary 50 megapixel camera. Then uh, you have a depth sensor as well. So, let's see how good are the camera experiences on this device. So, before getting started, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So first let's have a look at the hardware. Now as I said before, the primary camera is a 50 megapixel shooter f1.8 aperture and you get a 2 megapixel secondary camera. Now this camera system does not have an ultra wide angle camera nor a macro sensor. It's the basic depth sensor that's a 2 megapixel shooter. Now on the front panel too, you don't have a very high resolution camera. This is an 8 megapixel selfie camera with f2.0 aperture. So that's the camera setup. So very basic camera, just the primary and and the selfie camera and the depth sensor for portraits so let's see uh, what all features it offers and how good the clarity of the video and the photos are uh, for this price segment so let's get started with the daylight captures taken from the oppo a78 5g looking at the daylight captures the 50 megapixel camera does well in terms of details and colors you can see the processing of the image is also pretty good the color balance is also quite good the colors look natural and they do not saturate even the sky colors look more or less accurate the contrast is also maintained pretty well. The sharpness levels are quite okay, but for uh, a 50 megapixel sensor, it could have been tad better. And this is evident when you pixel peep. The dynamic range is also nice and wide and is acceptable for this price segment. Overall, the 50 megapixel camera does a good job with segment and users won't have much to complain. Sadly, at this price segment, it misses out on the ultra wide angle camera. Now moving on to the close-up images, here also you can see the details are good and the 50 megapixel camera offers good depth of field. The sharpness levels are also quite good and detailing and colors are also good. The primary camera once again delivers good details but at the same time it does exhibit a bit of watercolor effect in some images. There is also no macro camera on offer on this device. Let's move on to the portraits. Once again, the primary camera does a decent job with portraits. The skin tones are good, but they are a bit of over sharpening, which does not help with portraits. The edge detection could be definitely better, but not bad either, although there are a few missed edges. Next up, the low light captures. Here you can see in indoor artificial light, there is decent amount of details available and sharpness is also acceptable. But when light drops further, you can see noise coming in. Switching on the night mode does not improve things drastically and there is a lot of noise still and the images are way too soft and lacking any sharpness. There is definitely room for improvement in low light and the night mode. Finally moving on to the selfie camera, the 8 megapixel selfie camera does a good job with selfies. We like the way it reproduces the skin tones and sharpness levels and details are quite good. But at the same time there is a bit of noise too when you pixel peep. The dynamic range is also good. The phone also comes with portrait mode for selfies. Here once again there is an issue of, of over sharpening. Let's move on to the video recording. The phone supports only one resolution that's 1080p at 30fps. The quality is pretty decent with colors, sharpness levels, but there is no EIS on offer and hence the camera is not recommended for moving videos. Not having EIS at this price segment is definitely a downside. So this is the front facing camera sample taken using the Oppo A78 5G. So it can record videos in maximum of 1080p resolution and you can judge yourself how good are the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from this front camera sample. So summing up, how does the Oppo A78 5G perform in terms of camera? While the primary camera performs well in daylight, it is quite disappointing with low light. The lack of EIS is also a deal breaker. Also, there is no ultra wide angle camera nor a macro camera on offer. But the selfies are quite decent though. So that was the camera review of the Oppo A78 5G. So what do you guys think about the camera on the Oppo A78 5G? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Normal signing off with the camera review of Oppo A78. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.